Newlyweds from Ontario say they may never come back to Vancouver. Within hours of arriving, everything but the clothes on their backs was stolen. And as Sinjin Alexander reports, they had heard such great things about the city but can't believe what they're seeing. Their destination wedding in Alberta was picture perfect. It all went according to plan. Next up, the couple would drive to Vancouver with some close friends before taking off to California. On arrival in Vancouver, it was too early to check into the hotel, so the gang toured Stanley Park. The trip was going beautifully. When they got back to the car... Yeah, it turned on a dime pretty quick. We saw the window was down. We're like, that's weird, no one rolled the window down. Someone had smashed it and taken everything. Six pieces of luggage, backpacks, jewelry for the wedding, electronics. You name it, it's gone. This is what we have left. It's a wedding. We had our nice dresses, we had our nice shoes, we had our nice suits. I'm super anxious and angry and, yeah, like I'm just at a loss for words, to be honest. It's likely they will never see any of it again, including the locket given to Grandma when Grandpa passed away. She wore it for 15 years after he died, never took it off and then gave it to Caitlin right before she passed. That being given to me was so special and we can't replace it. All five had heard rave reviews about Vancouver, but are shocked not only by the theft, but by the reaction from others. Oh yeah, that happens all the time. So many people are saying that makes sense, then why isn't there a sign? Why isn't there a city-funded camera there that's going to be able to return these items? There's obviously like a systemic issue with the city right now that needs to be taken care of. For this being my first time here, it definitely leaves a sour taste in your mouth. Am I ever going to want to come back here again? And instead of touring the city, they spent the day in the passport office because they're supposed to be flying to Los Angeles the next day. But you guessed it, their passports were stolen too. Sinjin Alexander, CTV News, Vancouver.